Hey there, welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Food Delivery News. My name is Cecily Jamella and here are this week's headlines. UC Berkeley study shows that $5.64 minimum wage if Prop 22 passes. California Appeals Court orders Uber and Lyft to reclassify again. A vote no on 22 protest in front of Uber HQ. It's This Week in Rideshare and Food Delivery News. The California Appeals Court ordered Uber and Lyft to classify their drivers as employees. Now, this court ruling will not go into effect before November 3rd, but it narrows the options that both Uber and Lyft have should their ballot measure fail. In addition, shares for both Uber and Lyft fell yesterday. A group of gig workers filed suit against Uber over yes on Prop 22 app notifications. Yes, we talked about this last week. The group alleged that their employment rights were violated over in-app messaging, urging people to vote yes on 22. Now, last week I showed you guys a screenshot of a yes on 22 thought bubble for a little UberX car and push notifications that were sent from the app. The group is seeking up to $260 million in penalties. A study by Robert Reich, the Chancellor's Professor of Public Policy at UC Berkeley and Senior Fellow at the Blum Center for Developing Economies, along with his colleagues at UC Berkeley, suggests that under Prop 22, Uber and Lyft drivers will be guaranteed a whopping $5.64 and a vast majority of drivers would not qualify for the benefits that they advertise. Prop 22 would allow companies like Uber and Lyft to continue to misclassify employees as independent contractors and eliminate the rights of millions of other workers who'd no longer be entitled to unemployment insurance, overtime, sick leave, protections against discrimination and sexual harassment, or the right to collectively bargain for better wages and working conditions. A study by my colleagues at UC Berkeley found that under Prop 22, Uber and Lyft drivers would be guaranteed only $5.64 an hour, a far cry from the $13 an hour minimum wage they'd otherwise get. And the vast majority would not qualify for the health benefits outlined in Proposition 22. Now I've included links to find out more about Mr. Reich's findings below. Hundreds of Uber drivers rallied at Uber headquarters last week to oppose Proposition 22. But I'm here today to tell these billionaire corporations that they cannot write their own law. They can't take our democratic process and pervert it and twist it into something that works just for them. This democracy will never work if it does not work for everyone. Yes! Drivers from all over the state or in attendance and one of the protesters suggested that both Uber and Lyft's CEOs should be taken away in handcuffs. Uber and Lyft have been breaking the law since January 1st, 2020. They've been breaking the law since before the pandemic. They should be taken to prison in handcuffs. Jamie, it's a big deal for me, you know. I'm a single mother. I'm trying to make a living and support my kids. And now for this week's What Would You Do? I saw this on Facebook and I felt that this was a good one to bring back to the group. We are all a part of a very diverse community, but yet and still there are some people that feel vulnerable when they work with the general public. This driver writes, got a question I'm nervous about asking. I'm gay and sometimes feel I should act more masculine. Should I for my safety? So I'm happy to report that most of the feedback was positive across the board and the answers range from be yourself uh trust your gut if you feel like you're in a weird situation and i will go with both of those like i don't have anything else to add to that <laughs> at all what kind of advice would you give to someone who thinks they might be a little different and they want to do this kind of work how would you suggest they fit in or feel more comfortable with being themselves? Let us know in the comments. That is it for me. If you liked anything you've heard today, please hit the thumbs up button. I've got some new earrings for the ladies. 
<laughs> so if you like those, you can give me a thumbs up too. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and turn on your notifications. This news program is uploaded, which it is every single Saturday. Also, we've got 10 days to go to vote. So don't forget to vote and vote early if you can. I pray that you are in good health and stay that way. See you next week. Bye.